Hey guys, Grey Ghost here. I wanted to uh, do a little something different with this video. I'm going to try to make biscuits this morning. Now I've made these biscuits before, so they're a pretty easy, easy recipe. Um, but I want to take you guys along with me. I've got a lot of the stuff already prepped up and ready to go. The good thing about this re biscuit recipe is that it will uh, it don't require no kneading. That way you don't have to work them and roll them out and and all that good stuff so it's a delicious recipe and it is floating around so credit to those who already have it on there um, I'm just kind of following through and this is how I make mine but I hope you guys like the video I'm gonna get on I'm gonna get on the camera on the bowl so you can guys see what's going on and I'll see you soon all right here's our first greet uh, first ingredients the flour now i'm not sponsoring i'm not sponsored by anyone or by any particular company just to, for this video but i'm using uh, white lily flower this is about the for my experience this is the best flower i found for this recipe they just always come out fluffy <laughs> it's nice anyway they're in this uh sifter i put the flour in a sifter before i go ahead and put it in the mixing bowl there is a two and a half cups of flour here. So I'm just going to go ahead and run it through. Please excuse the screeching high volume noise because this, this uh, sifter will do it sometimes. Look at there. Nice and fluffy. Alright, we're done with that. Now, the next step we're going to do is we're going to do the mayo. That's a secret ingredient to this biscuit recipe that makes it really good for these southern biscuits. Anyway, it uh, bear in mind the kind of mayo that you use for this recipe will affect the biscuits. You just it's not extreme. It's just you need to look on there and see if it's got any like flavorings with Italian flavorings, seasonings olive oil, uh, any things that would make it taste different than regular mayo because the biscuits will inherit the flavor of the mayo. But for this one here, I'm using uh, good old Southern Duke's mayo, just the original mayo, and this will help our biscuits get that fluffy and rising texture so we don't have to knead them and turn them into hockey pucks. So we'll go ahead and add that. Okay. Next thing we're doing is a tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of melted and margarine, uh, whichever your preference is. One cup of milk, or buttermilk can be used, but I got 2%. Alright. Then you take these ingredients and mix them, carefully trying not to fling them out of the bowl. consistency you want it's a more of a smooth texture it will have a few granules at least for me but it's all good mix though okay 
Now, here comes a little bit of a harder part. It's uh, probably for you cooks out there, it ain't nothing, but what you do is you have to flour your hands and you, I, for me, I gently roll them out and put them in my cast iron skillet. Now my cast iron is already buttered and ready to go. I just have to set the dough in the cast iron so it'll bake up. Now people put the flour on their hands and uh, do it, and I got it too as well. But what helps me out tremendously is if I just put a little dough flour, excuse my poor English, put a little flour there on your dough, and then flour your hands up, then just grab your size. My family likes smaller biscuits, so I just grab it and start rolling the dough. See, that's a pretty big one, so we want to make it smaller. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we'll set it in our oven, which is preheated to 450 degrees. And I'll come back when they are done baking and I'll show you the, the next oven step. just clicked. And for reference though, the cast iron I you was a 10 inch skillet. In case you're trying to want to perfect this and you grab an 8 inch and like, oh gosh, that's way too many. <laughs> but anyway, it's a 10 inch skillet. I'm going to pull the biscuits out. Beware, they're very hot coming out of the oven. They look beautiful, don't they? Now, you can leave them as is. But one thing we do like to do here is I'll grab another tablespoon of butter and I'll grab a brush and I'll take my melted butter and I will just dress these biscuits up like so. Obviously, on a regular, when you're just making them, it's a lot quicker, but you hear that sizzling? I know I'm on the right path. When you're painting them biscuits and you hear that little bit of sizzling in there. And then... You want to try to get it evenly, but of course it ain't perfect. 
This ain't a big piece of art or something. It's edible art. <laughs> And then you're going to take these biscuits and put them back in the oven for an additional five minutes. Now, I am going to warn though that your oven may be different. And you might have to adjust your settings a little bit. It's a little pressure. All right, fellas, we're back. The timer on the stove has just clicked off and I'm getting ready to pull the biscuits out of the pan. Now, this is the tricky part. If you want biscuits like southern biscuits i just don't for my opinion they're just not the same unless you do it this way <laughs> well, all you gotta do is, is you gotta take the cast iron out and i gotta grab it and plop them right on the table and if you get a successful drop you've accomplished your mission now i had times where i didn't get the aim quite right that went on the table but <laughs> hopefully i can get it right this time they look beautiful with that butter in there, nice and golden. Let's see if I can do the drop. Perfect. And that's how southern people eat their biscuits. <laughs> Set my hot cast iron on the stove. My oven is off. Turn, let's turn my light off. Now... That thing is like molten right now. And they look beautiful. Now I'll see if I can not burn myself. And crack this open just a little bit to get that look in them. Woohoo! Look at that steam. And there is the inside. Fluffy. Soft. About good for any kind of any biscuit uh, recipe you want, like gravy biscuits and gravy. Um, when you let them cool down, they can they'll stiffen up a little bit. Not unpleasant though, so you can actually cut it, and then you will have some crumblies. But uh, you can put your jelly, your butter on there. <sighs> I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. <laughs> but guys, I hope you like this video. I know it's a little bit of change. Uh, a little gear change towards what I already posted, but I am going to get back to that. I wanted to get this kind of video because anyone who's tried these biscuits says they love them, and I hope you guys do too. And a quick note, um, now that I've gotten, I've used up a lot of my huge, my footage that I've already shot with, I want to try to get the videos down to like maybe one or two a week. Uh, now that's not set in stone I might get delayed or something and have to wait another week but I want to try to get it down to like at least one video a week that way it's you guys know when I'm going to post something and it ain't going to be like four videos at once and you're going to have to try to soak it all in but guys I hope you like this video if you don't mind give me a like share and subscribe so you can pass the word around about the new kid on the block and I hope you guys enjoy them, enjoy these biscuits as much as my family does. Remember, all glory goes to God. See you next time. Bye.